is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and welcome to day 25 of Off the Board. And today I decided to pull something different from my board, and I have a whole Pinterest board um, that is specifically dedicated to traveler's notebooks. So I don't do a ton of traveler notebook spreads, but I love them, and I really actually am contemplating doing, um, is it the 52 Fridays? Um, I really like that idea. So I might be interested in that, and I'd like to do that in Traveler Notebook size. I think that would be fun. So currently, what I do in my Traveler's Notebook is it's it's like a kind of like a prayer journal, basically. So um, today I am working on this photo. And so for those who don't know, um, we are from Prescott. Um, and several years ago, we had the big fire. And um, we lost 19 of our... Um, wildlife firemen and one of them is one of my husband's best friends so every year around the anniversary where the pea on the mountain is the 19 is added and so I snapped this photo um, when I was sitting at the light in front of it and um, then I just added in my editing software never forget. So I was just going to reflect on that. So over on the Mercy Tierra's 27 day challenge, I had actually issued a challenge to scrapbook something that is tough or not, not a happy time in your life, but I want you to scrapbook it happy. So you're taking a sad event but the layout doesn't have to look sad. So that is what I am trying to do here. And I am using this inspiration, which is from Felicity Jane. And I'm not sure who did it, but it is their product. So I am actually using quite a bit of Felicity Jane as well. So I took one of the cut apart, or not cut apart, pocket life cards and that said grateful. I attached it to one of the pockets and I will have journaling under there. And then I took my tab punch and with one of the other Project Life cards, that one that I'm using now, I punched a tab out of it um, and I will add something to that. I'm just not sure exactly. And then from the washi sticker sheet, I added the floral and then since I had already glued this down um, I decided to do faux stitching with my pin and my t-square ruler um, because if I sewed right on then I couldn't stick my journaling in the pocket so that's why I did that and then I added a little label from the Maggie Holmes sticker sheet to the upper corner there and I will put the date. So that side is pretty much done. So now I'm working on the other side with the photo and I put the photo on two of the, no, three of the Project Life cards. And I wanted to save that little piece because I really like the pattern on that and I do have a little bit more of this collection left so I think it would be a nice thing to have so I will save that and I just did some basic layering just like in the inspiration piece and now I am going to do a little embellishing so I added a label and a I, I guess it's kind of like a tab that says, uh, remember this 
to the bottom and that's where I'm going to add my journaling. And then I had pulled this little banner piece off and I wasn't sure where to put it. Like I, I couldn't put it back on. So I'm going to add it to that grateful tab right there. So it's just going to live there. <laughs> and then I take a couple of the hearts and I am going to use those on both of the pages as well as this kind of speech bubble. Now I didn't want it to look like the, uh, like the washi's a little bit transparent. So I didn't want that transparent going over those cards. So I actually left it on the back and just glued it down as is. And that worked out really good. It made it more of a die cut piece. So now I really want to use that idea of a banner up in the top. And so initially my plan was to use the Bow Bunny banners, but they're just, the colors were just off. Like it wasn't, it wasn't working. The I think it was the pinks. So I'm looking through the sticker book and I'm like, oh, this is a really cool banner. And I'm like, nope, that pink is so not the right pink. I'm like, there's got to be something in here. So that's when I come across these. And I hadn't introduced the mint yet, um, but I figured that at least there was green in the floral on the other side. But I didn't want like a ton of that green. So I end up using this piece that just has that little bit of green at the top and I'm trying to put it together in a banner and then just set the whole thing down but they wouldn't stick to each other so for me I find the easiest way is to put the edges on first and then add the center so then everything is evenly spaced how you kind of want it so that is going to be my banner up there. And I do decide that it needs this little heart. Now it is um, that washi, so you can kind of see the black stripes in the back. So I try to angle it so that the, so the both stripes kind of match up, if that makes sense. Like the gold in the heart and the, and the black in the background. And then I'm just gonna add a couple of these gold Heidi or Maggie Holmes uh, tiny word stickers. And so it says grateful 365. So I hope you enjoyed this process. If you have any questions, leave them down below and remember to wear your crown. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.